Listen up, pumpkin. We need to talk. Here are my three reasons why low calorie diets are bad, bad, bad. What's going on, guys? Coach Giants here from Body More Fitness. Welcome to the video. Before we get into it, did you know that studies consistently show an improvement in mood, overall physical health, and life expectancy, all connected to giving? So give yourself a boost right now and give me a little subscribe and a like before we get into the content. Peace. Okay, so firstly, we need to call a spade a spade. Not losing weight, we're losing fat. Call a spade a spade, it's fat you're trying to lose. Because when we lose too much weight too fast, chances are that's actually all of the stored glycogen just depleting from all your muscles because you're not replenishing it with enough food and you're losing all the water from your body. So you're dehydrated as well, which is really bad for your brain, really bad for just overall function. And you're losing muscle. That's bad. Bad, bad, bad. Bad. You're losing loads of muscle, your metabolic rate is slower, which means that in the future, you're gonna put on more fat. So you're just gonna be a smaller but fatter version of yourself. I'm sorry to be like all blunt, but you need to know, losing weight fast, bad. Understand this, your body doesn't wanna lose weight. Ah, uh -uh. your body is main priority is survival. Okay, it's interested with its survival. And survival is staying in homeostasis, staying still in one place, as in surviving in a nice, comfortable land. Not in the stressful land of losing weight, losing fat and reducing itself, okay? So when you understand that, you can then see that forcing your body to do the opposite process as fast as you can is obviously gonna have a negative reaction in the body. It's negative. Okay, you successfully just lost 27 pounds in like a day, but what, what then? Rebound, bad rebound. Body's not gonna react to food very well for a long time. You make gaining fat in the future not only likely, but easier, mm -hmm. easier. Because your body has thought it's dying, and so now it wants to store everything that comes in. All right. Reason number two, it's not a long-term solution. Look, if we've gone the quick fix route, we've skipped the real problem. It means that we haven't fessed up to the fact that it's our lifestyle that's broken, our habits which are bad, and it's our education that is lacking. We haven't got the tools to cope with the other side of that crazy, dangerous journey. You're left with the fact that you can't maintain that lifestyle because the lifestyle's the same. You're still the same person with poor habits and lack of education, whatever. You've just now hurt yourself in the process. So we need to ditch the quick fix, put the work in, and educate ourselves somewhere along this crazy journey. We need to go, hey, this is not a long-term solution. So it's bad, bad, bad. Reason number three, side effects. Nutrient deficiencies, because you're not getting enough from your diet. Gallstones, very common in rapid weight loss. Mm. Fatigue, constipation, nausea, diarrhea. Obviously, because you're not eating anything, you're gonna get hunger, and that leads to cravings. Cravings lead to messing up on your diet, which leads to high probability of failure, which leads to a negative psychological belief that this is not for me, it doesn't work, this program doesn't work, this diet doesn't work, this doesn't work. No, it was just set up badly. Lastly, a high risk of rebound for the reasons I mentioned about your metabolism way back. So we need to just commit to the long haul and put in the effort and the work in which will make the journey all that more satisfying when you get to where you wanna go. Hopefully I inspired you a little bit to ditch the low calorie nonsense and to eat the right calories for your body, for your lifestyle, and for your goal. To your success, guys, as always, Coach Charles over and out, peace.